I'm going to make this uh, lecture pretty short because our next module will serve to answer this question of what is an argument and what is logic uh, more in depth. So I'll just give you a quick, brief little couple minutes. Essentially what logic is, it's the study of arguments. And one of the things I always like to do before we get too far <coughs> is I ask this question, what is an argument? And most people think of an argument as two people bickering back and forth saying, you know, um, you know, like maybe a married couple saying, we need a dishwasher, we need a new dishwasher. Maybe the, you know, whoever does the dishes in their house, um, that they say, uh, you know, the person who does it would argue for a better dishwasher or a newer one. And they, they would say, you know, we need a new dishwasher. The old one just doesn't get the dishes clean. And the other one says, well, yeah, it does. And they say, well, no, it doesn't. I always pre-wash them. They said, oh, well, uh, I don't think that's a big deal. I mean, a dishwasher is pretty expensive. And the other person says, they're not that expensive, and you're not the one who has to do the work. And the person says, well, I do do the work. I earn the money. And the other person says, well, you're saying I don't do anything? You know what? Your mother didn't raise a very good son or daughter. And the other person says, I hate you. Your mother's a horrible person. And I, you know, blah, blah, blah. And dishwashers are inexpensive. And this argument goes back and forth and becomes this big heated thing. But what we would say in logic is we would say that there isn't one argument there. There's actually two arguments. There's an argument from person A who's arguing for a conclusion. And they're using premises to say, to say, you know, my conclusion is we need a new dishwasher, and the other person is using the conclusion of we don't or we, we shouldn't get a new dishwasher. And person A is giving reasons to support their argument, their argument for the new dishwasher, and they're giving arguments <coughs> or reasons, we call them premises, and those are premises such as, you know, the old one doesn't clean the dishes well, dishwashers aren't that expensive, um, your mother didn't raise a very good child, you know, so on and so forth. And the other person is giving an argument for dishwashers are expensive, that dishwasher, you know, we should, you know, that, uh, you know, you're lazy, that I work hard and I can't waste my money on that. You know, and th those are their premises. And what logic does is it allows us to say, you know what, some of those premises are good, some of those premises are completely irrelevant and have no point in this argument. We need to eliminate them from our argument. And so that's essentially what uh, logic gets to is it gets to this idea of how do we take that apart? Let's break it down. Let's look at our conclusion. Let's look at our premises. Let's find the ones that are irrelevant and eliminate them. We don't need irrelevant premises. They do nothing but anger the other person and they don't help us prove our point. The other thing is, is we can actually say, uh, one of the things we'll do is we'll say, you know, are these premises true? We evaluate the truthfulness of them. You know, one person saying a oh, dishwasher is expensive, the other one saying it's inexpensive. Well, is it or isn't it? I don't know. You know, to a certain degree, that is a value statement that we need to get away from. We need to say, well, what is expensive? And how much does a dishwasher actually cost? I mean, a dishwasher can cost, you know, uh, my parents just bought a new dishwasher that was uh, somewhere in the ballpark of like $1,200. It was this like two drawer. It's like you can do one load on the top, one load on the bottom, and they, they pull in and out. And you can do two loads, you know, one load, and then you can you know, you know, if you you only, you only have to fill up half the dishwasher to do a load. It's like a two dishwasher drawer system, and very expensive, very nice. But that's that's kind of, I mean, they just did that because they don't. You know, it's just the two of them. They're retired. They're uh, they 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 just don't. Uh, you know, they don't eat that much. They don't always have a full load of dishes, so they just did that as a, a uh, they they thought that would be a better system for them. But most people would buy a regular dishwasher. You can buy them fairly inexpensive, 300 bucks maybe. I don't know. I mean, I, I haven't priced a dishwasher. But, you know, those may not be the best dishwashers. So what essentially we do is we say, you know, we need to not just say a dishwasher is expensive or not. We need to actually say, well, the dishwasher that we could use costs this much. We earn this much. And that's not so expensive or that is expensive given our income. And those would be better ways to do it. And so logic is essentially a way of taking and breaking it down, finding the things that are relevant, finding a way to get to the better to the better truth of our premises and figuring out which ones actually prove our point and which ones don't have any point or if they actually do prove our point. And that's all of what logic is about. And we'll go into more detail about all that.